Here. This is Act we'll One. Facebook. Mm -hmm. I immediately save it to my phone. That's pretty cool. So then you got the deciduous trees, conifers trees, all the different ty knot types of knots. So, I mean, these are free cool. giveaways these at what do we call this event? Uh, survival class. <laughs> this is survival class, and where is it going to be? We're at. We're going to end up at Fort right. Gibson. Ranger Creek. Yep. Ranger Creek. And this is giveaways, and these are handkerchiefs, and this is, uh, which one is this? this is not tying, and you've seen the other ones was uh, describing trees and, and the whole nine yards. Uh, so we're uh, building backpacks here. We can only take, what, 10 items? This is Russell. What's your name? Doug. Doug. And you got Johnny here. We're the first three here to arrive at the survival class today. So we hope that more people will come. The Bofang here, that's just an extra that we're just kind of discussing, but this is some of the stuff that we got in a backpack. You got Russell's got a hatchet right there. Now, this is some giveaways that he has for the class participants. Now, that looks like a stove of some type. Canned fuel. Canned fuel. Candles. Live straws. Uh, we, yeah, we was just doing a... Uh, he was showing me on the internet. We did a Google of... The Sawyer. The Sawyer. I got a Sawyer in here, too. I'll show you them. Show yeah, you. so we're looking at the difference in the Sawyer and the live straw. That's the Sawyer. This is the last draw. Now where do you, where can we get that? You can, I bought mine at Walmart. See, where at Walmart? Walmart right here in the, in the camping section. Where in the camping it? section, and this the Sawyer is shorter than the life straw even. That's what I just read on that. Look it's at the shorter. length of this life straw. It's got a longer, this one, could, this one can do 100,000 gallons. It comes with a plunger kit, so you can clean it and refresh it again and start over. So it's gonna last, I don't know, I'll probably have that for two years now. I've never had any, any issues whatsoever. So, I mean, these things, and they come with a bag, so you can make a complete bag. So you can, you don't. And this here will screw right on the top. You got a pop bottle or anything? It screws right on the top of your pop bottle. So you can drink straight out of it. Check this out. Look at that. That's the Sawyer filter. So if you had a regular water bottle, you, you should go, go fill that water right up out of the creek and hook the Sawyer. Yeah. <laughs> this is stuff that we're planning on leaving in a bug out bag for if shit ever hits the fan scenario. You're broke down, you're in a tornado ravages through, and you're stuck on the side of a highway. You've got a backpack that uh, you can survive 24 hours, 48 hours, up to 72 hours worth of food and uh, essentials in a backpack like this. When I compare the two, I do a lot of research on the two, and my straw is good. But I'm happier with Sawyer than I am. Because it's more versatile. It does more, and, and I, I just leave that in my truck everywhere I go. My kids, we go camping, they take them with them when they're walking up and down the rivers and creeks. So, so what he did is he, he started out with the live straw. He went and bought a Sawyer. Now he's just giving the live straws away. <laughs> That's funny. But <laughs> backyard foraging, what was the other book that you had? So we got several uh, books. This guy, how many years did you say you've been doing these type About of classes? About 17 years. About 17 years. Let's have Russell Buster open a bag here, his 10 items, and uh, see what he's got here. So we're going off into the woods, and this is only 10 items we could take. I've got my 10 items over here, which just includes a can, uh, hand sanitizer, and a bottle, some, uh, wire and rope. And then this is what uh, Russell's got. Uh, one of the most essential things was uh, still wool. That's one of the things that I was really uh, surprised about. Even my wife knew about it, but here I am. By the way, my wife come home one day and says, you're a prepper. You know, she's already into the, she's been reading up on this stuff and uh, knows about what the steel wool was for. I had no clue. You put a <laughs> nine volt battery in it, short it out, and it'll create a fire. And this is a complete uh, SAS survival manual. What's the SAS stand for? Is it a, is there any other survival manual? Any other type of survival manual than SAS? Yeah, Plants from the wild. That's one of the things I imagine we're going to be learning today. Is uh, we're doing a little bit of foraging. We'll be doing more trap building snares. Sweet. Fish traps. Just the basic. Assumption. Oh, even some fish traps. That's awesome. That's all. Russell's been talking about some fish. For a giveaway, I found one that's spring loaded and flattens like this, about that big around. You take the two clips off and it springs open to that. 